Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it is time to make some soap and to test another fragrance. So today's soap, I will be using Black Raspberry and Vanilla from Crafter's Choice, which I purchased at Wholesale Supplies Plus. Now I've used this fragrance in several soaps in the past, but never this brand. I've used another brand that I like. It smells good and it holds up well, but surprisingly, it accelerates in my recipe and that always is surprising because everybody always talks about how well black raspberry vanilla behaves so i don't know um just about every supplier makes that but i have never tried this one and a lot of people have said that that is actually their favorite brand so we're going to try it and see if it accelerates in my batter so i am even though i've used that fragrance i've never used it from this supplier so our accent colors will be white titanium dioxide, Nurture Soap's Purple Vibrance, which is always a favorite, and Nurture Soap's Raspberry Red, which I believe is now called Queen of Hearts. And on the frosting, we're going neon, just to keep it really vivid. So we will be using a mixture of Mad Micah's Tickled Pink, and Mad Micah's Grape Ape. That will be our frosting. I think that's enough said. Let's get started. I'm soaping about 80 degrees, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, like always. And like always, we will start by slowly, carefully pouring the lye water into the oils. Bring this to a very light basic emulsification, which is literally just a couple of quick blasts. There's one. And there's two, and that's all I'm going to do to start. I will stick blend later. I can always stick blend more, but I can never unstick blend. And I would like to have a little more white. So I'm going to pour our accents up to probably about right there, just kind of eyeballing like always. Which looks good and the rest of this will be our I'm just about oh boy I just about messed up I did not save for frosting that's gonna be our frosting oh boy I about goofed wow close call And this will be our white. finish with this container so let's set the white out of the way and do it last since TD does tend to thicken up batter just a little bit and let's get these really nice accent colors in so a little teaspoon of purple vibrance should do because it is potent and I don't have a whole lot of soap batter here a little teaspoon of raspberry red should do it as well. So let's stir 
these in and see what we have. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. And let's do our white now. That will lighten up on a stick blender, which I am getting ready to do right now. Start with the lightest, go lightest to darkest. This fragrance behaves, which I expected to do just fine. It does really smell good. And once again, I can use the whole bottle. And even doing that, I won't be, I'll be under the maximum skin safe. See how they do because this is too thin for me, thinner than I like. Clean this stick blender head off. Give these a quick buzz and see how they do. That's oh, really runny. Okay, that is thinner than I like, but since I haven't used this fragrance, I'm not going to stick blend anymore. I'm going to shut this down and just wait and let it do it on its own. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so this fragrance definitely behaves much better, but my white is starting to thicken up a little because of the TD, so I don't want to wait too much longer. So I'm actually going to pour probably half of the white in there. And we'll drop this in, and then if I think I'm comfortable with it, I will do a hanger swirl. I think I'm just going to finish the white. No, I'll leave a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, this definitely behaves better than the other brand that I've used. And I like it, but 
it does move on me. So I do believe I'll be buying this one from here on, although I have some of the other I'll use up first. Way too thin to do anything with so that's going to have to sit for a while and then I'll mix the soap frosting and I'll be right back.
Okay, it's time to cut our soap. Before I do that, are you wondering about the monkey fart soap? Did we have any discoloration? None whatsoever. Very, very bright, vivid colors. There was no discoloration whatsoever. The titanium dioxide and vivid micas colored that, hit, uh, covered that. Smells fantastic. So let's see what this one looks like. I did forget to add the hanger swirl through it, which I have done before, but the pour I think went pretty well. It was pretty thick, fairly thick, so I think it's going to be all right. But we're going to find out. Oh, yeah, very nice. And oh, does that fragrance ever slow your trace down? I had to wait like a half an hour before I could even start to mix the frosting up because the soap was still so liquid and fluid. But yeah, this turned out very nice. Might actually be glad I didn't add the hanger. There we have it. So only time will tell if the fragrance holds up, but I kind of think it will because this has so many positive reviews with people who use it in cold process. So I'm pretty confident that it will, and I'm super happy with this. And I'm actually kind of glad I forgot to do the hanger. I'm glad I didn't. Love the two-tone in the frosting. Very nice. That's what I have this week. I have two new fragrances to test next week. So until then... Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Take good care of yourselves. I'll see you next week. Bye.